What do people do today to clean things? What do they use to disinfect things? And if you look at the chemicals that are currently used, they're actually very toxic. So we recognize the need to be able to perform cleaner oxidation reaction in industry. Well, Mimi is essentially doing the discovery. I'm a chemical engineer, and what we do is essentially we take chemistry and we make it more affordable. The objective is to build a machine to perform oxidation and reduction using just water and a power supply. What we are making are compounds that can oxidize pathogens, viruses, bacteria and so forth, but they can also clean water. So one particular area that oxygen is used a lot in is in environmental remediation. That is, if you imagine you have a contaminated site, it could be an oil spill or sewage, which is wastewater treatment. To building these systems into washing machines so that you don't have to buy your washing powder anymore. So instead of going to your supermarket and buy a big box of detergent, you can minimize waste and minimize transporting detergent. So it all starts off with an idea. Mimi and I sat together and we looked at some of the chemistry that could be done. I really enjoy working with Klaus because he's a very good person to bounce off idea with. I think character-wise we're very different people. She's the boss when it comes to, to chemistry. Then I become more dominant if you want when it comes down to, to the engineering and how we actually make this work on a larger scale. The environment here in Imperial is unique in that it's very intrinsically collaborative. You can see how close everybody is, just physically. And what that means is that we talk a lot to each other. That's where the real progress is made. Imperial also make a very concerted effort in developing the science and technology part. So we have a little bit of funding from Imperial College, allocated by IPSASI. To develop blue sky research into applicable systems. But the most important thing is actually people involved in doing this work. None of this would have been possible if it's not for the ingenuity of the excellent postdocs we have employed on the project. We have now a prototype being patented at the moment. And once that process has completed, then we will be talking to various manufacturers to start to make demonstrators. We actually condense all the essential components into one unit, which is very portable and a machine that even a non-chemist can operate. I would want to see every pharmaceutical company not working with round bottom flasks anymore, but really just using flow chemistry. Now for the first time, science and engineers can start to now share the same physical space with the industry, with the entrepreneurs, and who knows what might happen there. I think that's quite exciting.